Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Today, I'm going to be talking about my new Alpina bumper lights. These things are six LED, uh, really high quality, really nicely made. As you may or may not be able to see in the video, they are caked in bugs. So they have taken a beating. I've been up to Michigan and back since I put these things on and uh, been down to Hoosier National Forest. I'm out on a camping trip right now and they've held up phenomenally, no condensation. So I'm gonna kind of talk to you about the install of them and I'm gonna talk about how easy it was to put these things in. I'm gonna talk to you about the dimensions, the sizes, the uses for these things, kind of give you a little bit of information that may help you if you're looking for some relatively inexpensive lights to use as either ditch lights, fog lights, bumper lights, something like that. These would be a great option. So let's get into more on the Alpina 6LED spotlights. All right guys, so as I mentioned today, I'm talking about these Alpina bumper lights. Sorry, I'm sweaty. It is 95 degrees out here in Hoosier National Forest right now, and I'm camping and I'm sitting in front of really bright lights, which are actually kind of warm. So anyways, I did just want to touch on these really briefly with you guys, because these things are actually really, really budget friendly. They put out a really good amount of light and they're super high quality. So again, if you've looked at Amazon type lights that are, you know, 20, 30 bucks, and you put them on and within a week they've got condensation inside of them, these things are about the same price as all those cheap Chinese lights that you see on Amazon all the time, but they come from an actual reputable company. So, you know, again, I've had these on for about a month and a half now, no condensation, no problems, run them through a bunch of bugs, run them through a bunch of rain, a lot of heat, a lot of sun, and they are holding up just fine. So I anticipate that they'll go for a really long time, which is what you want, right? I don't want to have to install these things over and over again because they keep going out, which has been my experience with a lot of the cheap Chinese lights that you get off Amazon. Um, they do include mounts, which is really nice. They come with like brackets for them, which are pretty standard, you know, fair with a, a nut and a bolt that you use to attach it to the bumper or whatever you want to attach it to, and they work really well. And then other than that, I'm actually running a red arc system in my truck, so I have a distribution block under the hood, which I'll show you here. So as you can see, I am actually running these to a distribution block under the hood, which just makes things really nice and easy to hook up. So these are hooked up to one of these inputs that go into my red arc system, and then I can control it remotely from inside the truck or even from an app on my phone. But again, all you really need is 12 volt to positive and negative to get these things hooked up. You need to have some basic wiring skills on how to, you know, operate switches and wire switches for fog lights, but that's about it. It's really super simple. So again, those are the Alpina 6 LED spotlights. Um, these things are really, really nice. They're really budget friendly. They're actually really well made. So you don't have to worry about condensation or breakage or things like that. Um, I've not had it through a deep water crossing yet, but when I do, I will report back to you guys. If I have any problems, I will make a video about it. But based on what I've seen so far, I'm not anticipating any problems. I'm actually really pleased with these lights. They look great. They work fantastically and they're really inexpensive. So again, I hope that was helpful for you. I will put a link in the description below to these lights. If you're looking for something like this, you could use them as ditch lights. You could use them as bumper lights, fog lights, whatever you want, um, but they're a great option. So uh, check out that link in the description below. Also in the description below will be links to Facebook, Instagram, my podcast that I do every week. Um, there's a Patreon page where we have a Discord and we all chat in it all the time. And then there's also a newbie overlanders group on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook and you want to come hang out and not get ridiculed by everyone, um, come hang out in that group. We'd love to have you. But again, if this was helpful for you, click that like button. If you are not already, click the subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a couple videos every week. Um, and post up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions about these lights. If you want to know anything about them, I'm happy to get your answers. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.